Um, City Skylines 2 devs warn players of performance problems. We have not achieved the benchmark we targeted. Yo, this feels bad. Ahead of the City Builders release on October 24th, the devs want to manage expectations on performance. Yo, you know what this says to me? You should be delaying your game. You don't release this game if it doesn't perform right. You don't release this. You delay this. Just a week before the release of City Skylines 2, developer Colossal Order and publisher Paradox have issued a warning to fans about the City Builder's performance. If you know it's that bad that you are running, you're pushing out information in the first place to tell people that you need to be ready for a bad performance, you should be delaying this. I, I don't know. The statement was posted on the Paradox Interactive Forum today as both a news item and a fact. And the message is essentially lower your expectations. Are you flipping kidding me? City Skylines 2 is a next-gen title, and naturally it demands certain hardware requirements, the statement reads. With that said, while our team has worked tirelessly to deliver the best experience possible, we have not achieved the benchmark we targeted. Despite this, the City Builder won't be delayed on PC as it was delayed on console. We've taken the long-term vision of the project into account and feel that a release now is the right step, the fact says, though no further explanation is given as to why they feel releasing now is the right move. We, uh, because they are greedy assholes, that's why. We will continually improve the game over the coming months because we're going to lean on the internet as a clutch, a clutch, a crutch um, to fix the game into the state that it should be on release rather than using connectivity to um, fix unforeseen issues and add content, which is what patching should be used for. Everybody got that? So... Let me start over here. We will continually improve the game over the coming months. We also want to manage expectations on performance for the coming release. Our ambition is for City Skylines 2 to be enjoyed by as many players as possible. We're committed to ensuring it reaches its full potential. In other words, as is the case with a lot of games these days, the hope is to fix its problems after launch. I guess it's somewhat refreshing to get a warning ahead of time. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, yeah, I think uh, what this should do is... it. I guess it is in a way. What it should do, though, is tell people not to buy this. At least there is that. It should be a red light to people saying, don't buy this. And if you've already bought it, refund it. Um, a game might not run very well. It's still pretty disappointing news. As for what players can do if they're still trying to decide to buy the game upon release, more details will follow soon. We have determined a few graphic settings that may have minimal impact on the player performance, but increase performance significantly. Player experience, minimal impact on player experience, but increase performance significantly, the statement says. Provide more details shortly. The worst thing about this is, look, no developer releases a game blind to what the current state of the game is right a developer does not release a game in a state of like what cyberpunk was and go oh we didn't we thought it was good to go <laughs> you know what i mean that's just not the way it goes like the, developers are full aware of what the current state of their their product is in yeah so, yeah, okay, at least they are being open and, uh, you know, con forthcoming about this issue and, the, you know, presenting to, to potential customers and their player base and community that this game is going to have issues on release. But they should still delay it. There's no reason to delay this game. If you as a company understand that this game is not ready, it's not finished. Finished meaning very polished. No piece of software is without issues. There's always going to be things that are unforeseen. There's always going to be bugs that you have to work out, things like that. But... 
that's what patching is for. Patching is for continual improvement implementation of of maybe you know getting some quality of life things done that you didn't think about before you know putting new content in the game fixing some some issues that were unforeseen if you know this game is performing poorly because it's not finished you don't release it this is what's wrong with the industry too many companies companies think it's acceptable it's okay to use connectivity and patching to fix games after release. It's become the norm. It's not. That's not what connectivity is for. That's not what patching is for. It's not to release a game and fix it after the fact. That's not what it's for, man. That's what it's become. But that's not what it's supposed to be used for. This is terrible. They should be delaying this game. It's gross. That's gross, dude. 